<laughs> this is stupid. Fuck you. Uh. I'm not fucking late. <laughs> Jump his heart with a car bed. <laughs> twelve. You have twelve. I don't have two. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the BS Show. We are live here on YouTube with all of you for our daily show. That's right. All three days a week, the show will be up. Possibly five. We're, we're working on it. Um, welcome, everyone. A lot to get to. A lot to get to. Mm-hmm. A lot to unpack, as we like to say. Yes. And uh, you guys want to get into drama first, or you want to get into funny first? What do you want to do? I think they could be one and the same, if you ask me. Yes. All right. Uh, so drama? Yeah. All right. So let's go behind the scenes here. Get this right. This is, uh, I mean, I have no issue with Gino, so I will call him a friend because he's a friend. Um, but he, 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 I, I, yeah, well, I'm not going. What he watches me more than I watch me. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> it is, it is. I was having a conversation with him, you know, there, there are. You know, some people that he's he's not a fan of these days, but I, I do find that he's um, very involved in these people's uh, projects as far as like listening and, and talking about it. And, and listen, this is just me, but like if people don't like me, I'm not going to devote <laughs> my show to talking about these people not liking me. There's right. nothing you're going to do to to change that. This is. This is what they want to do. This is how they want to feel about you, and that's that. You know. Yeah. Who the fuck? You know what I mean? He's telling me how to do things. What I who I should play with. Well, let what me. See, I haven't seen this clip. What? Let me see what he's talking. He's talking about you in this clip. Of all me, yeah, and then uh-huh. people around me. Uh, I'm brilliant, but I'm this. I'm not. I, I think. Look, let's watch it because I. I think I. Fuck him. Okay. <laughs> I can't hear it. Yes. This is the best he ever done. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah, he's. It's been five seconds that he hasn't offended anybody. Uh, can nope. you hear that? Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, nope. I don't know why it's not. Uh... Isa, is your desktop open? Even the nope. internet doesn't nope. want to hear Gina. Exactly. You see. Oh, you know what? We were having this issue. It's Twitter. It's something. When I go to play something wow. off of Twitter, it doesn't play the audio. Hmm. Nope. Oh. A I... little something. Uh, can you see if you can pull that or something or get that off of working on it? All right, we'll get back to that shit. I, I still got to wait. I got these people coming to my house later to uh, to put those things on my roof. Well, they're going to talk about it. Reindeer? Shingles? Shingles? No, the, the things that make the power come. You know what I'm talking about? I have no fucking idea. No. They put those things on the house, and then all of a sudden, electricity comes through them, and that shit. <laughs> Wires? No. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> no. Fucking, no. Uh, what's the things that, the, the, that Biden was crying about, all the energy, and they, they want to go uh, solar clean energy? Energy? What? Baloney? No. Oh, solar, pa- solar panels? Solar panels, panels yes. Wow. So they're doing it for nothing because I guess that uh yes, this you is know, chain... every company does stuff for nothing. Well, yes. they said that they're trying to do this everywhere so of people course. don't have to use all the uh power from Of course post- it's not going to cost you anything. Yeah, I mean that's how most companies make it huge yeah. is they uh they give stuff away. Well, I was just trying to cancel it, but I I don't know how they get me. You know what I mean? I, I, I <laughs> oh, Why? I know how they get you. Just the same way the pool guy got you. Oh, oh, you got it. Get, awesome. Sent me a fucking look at this. Levy G Channel trashes Levy Land podcast oh. and gives career advice to the comeback kid of 2022, <laughs> the Reverend Bob Levy, the G O D. When his sidekick Silent Bob tries to silence him, goes like, "Yeah, it's just an inconvenient." Shut up, stupid. Shut up. Jesus, can you imagine having your own podcast named Levy Land, but you're so bad at hosting a show yourself? You have Rob Saul and Chris Abels, who fucking put the UN in untalented. I'm so bad at hosting a show. Are you kidding me? I fucking I'm on like seven shows. You're on one that you're fucking beating into the fucking ground. 
It, it, it makes no fucking sense. He's just yelling about fucking anything because he can't fill an hour and a half a day. I fill an hour and a half in 20 minutes. <laughs> what? Fucking guy. You heard him. What do you yeah. mean? Uh, it, but so what is his that art? Meme. What's that? I can't wait to see that meme. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. But what is, uh, I don't understand. So he's. What is he upset at you for exactly? I'm not because following. I'm friends with Kevin Brennan, and I, I, I he hates Rob and Chris that are on Levy Land with me because they 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 just when he they say any, he says anything to them they rip him apart and he can't handle it, you know. And he calls them nobody's there perfect for me. I know what works. They, you know what I mean? Yelling at me doesn't work. You know what I mean? Then tomorrow I'm coming up tomorrow. You're gonna yell at my face? I don't think you will. I don't think you will. Fucking paper jaw. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Rob. And then you're yelling at them because they're hosting a show like fucking SHIT garbage? Jesus garbage. Christ. You're far too talented to deal with the likes of that. Do the Uncle Rico show. Do the Thanks. BS show with Shuli. That's a great fucking show. And get the fuck away mm -hmm. of these like negative it. fucking people that underscore your lack of talent in some areas when you're one of the most brilliant comedians going. What does that mean? I'm not as good as a radio host as you. Maybe I should roll up my sleeves, you fucking hairy fucking Italian fuck. <laughs> And I'm, I, am I stupid or or is he all over the place? Because he's he's saying Bob's terrible as a host. He's saying Bob's show is terrible yeah. with these guys, but Bob is great with us. So keep doing with us and not doing it with them. That's what he's basically saying. That's what it yeah. sounds like. Because he doesn't like them. He doesn't. He hates the fact that me and Kevin are friends. He can't take it. He can't stand it. You know, I saved him from a Kevin Brennan beaten in the studio. It's well documented. So, and, and I wouldn't have fucking had a benefit for your fucking goddamn glass jaw. You know what I mean? If I didn't like you, right? I, I came up with that to do. And then I he's mean, keeping it for a lawyer to put Pat in jail now. I don't know what's going on. I think, by the way, I, I have nothing against Pat, but this this notion that everybody's going around trying to try, trying to tell Gino to drop the charges. Let me tell you something, dude. If a fucking guy walked up and sucker punched any of you and broke your jaw and you had to have surgery on it and you're not pressing charges on that guy afterwards, you're a fucking moron. I'm sorry. It, it, that's just that's how it works. This ain't the Wild West. We ain't going out the saloon and handling that like men and then moving on with it. If you want to do that, ask the guy and, and give him an option to go outside with you. But if you're going to come up and fucking sucker punch a guy and and then now you got to face the repercussions. If I'm Gino, I wouldn't drop the charges. And again, yeah, that, I, have that's nothing not against Pat. I have nothing against Pat. He's yeah. always been nice to me. I like Pat. Uh, but I wouldn't. I, I think it's stupid. People saying dr drop the charge. But I didn't say anything. I, I, I no. But there's a lot of people that are like, why wouldn't you drop it? Why I would? No, you fucking wouldn't. If you had to pay thousands of dollars to get your fucking jaw fixed, when a guy came up to you un unknown, unannounced, and just fucking nailed you. You, you wouldn't drop these charges. But I'm is sorry. it a sucker punch? He's seen him coming right at him. He walked towards Bob, if you, him. If I walk up yeah. towards you and you go, oh, Shuli's walking towards me, and then I hit you. Did, if I'm walking towards you, your first thought is, Shuli's walking towards me, especially if we work together. Regardless yeah. of whether you have beef or not, that whole network, they, they're ready to tear each other apart every other week, right? Mm -hmm. But But you walk up, and he walks up to him, Knowing that Gino's not going to be prepared to be punched. That's right. a, that's an important fact here. Pat walking in knows he's going to hit Gino. Gino but, has no clue it's coming. But this has nothing to do with me. How does this have anything to do I, with me? I agree. It's just something that was brought up that he brought up because I've heard on various shows people go, I don't know. I think it's a pussy move to press charges. Fuck off. Everybody's fucking tough talk over here. Go, go, fucking eat out of a straw for three weeks, and then walk away and go. You know what? Let's just let's just move on. Case right. And you lose work. You know, it's not yeah. just a. Well, he got paid. Know, he got paid, he got paid to sit home and and drink out of a straw. It doesn't matter. He shouldn't have had that. He, it, it's not. It's not an option that Pat gave him. Hey, do you want to sit at home and drink from a straw and make money? 
Then maybe yeah. Gino say, yeah, nail me. Boom. Yeah. Franklin Checkler, not a sucker punch, a sucker got punched. <laughs> Whatever it is, the fact the fact that the real suckers here are the idiots going, don't press charge. And he said that Pat changed his life, like uh, somebody said in the chat. He did because he said he lost weight. He has a he came back. He got to think Good. and all he this turned, shit. He turned a negative into a positive. What, what do you want? You want to give Pat an award for punching a guy <laughs> in the fucking face? Uh, you don't diet. say, oh, uh, AIDS is a positive thing because I lost weight. You know what I mean? Come on, man. You don't look at it as a positive. I mean, it's like it, you could see that he's making me believe that it's a good thing. It's not a good thing when you get a broken jaw from a guy with a newspaper under his arm with a suit on. It's not a good thing. And, 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 and a worse thing would be not to pursue pressing charges on that, in my opinion. I, I think that's his up. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Just fucking what the fuck do I got? Just because I'm friends with people you don't like. Uh, like, that's like a five year old saying shit like that. You can't yeah, play but with you that. Know, at the end of the day, what, what this is all coming from is he loves and respects you and he's hurt. He's he's upset mm -hmm. by it. If if I did a show with somebody else where I shit on you and I'm what not. you do for a living or not even me, if my co-host shits on you and what you do for a living and how you suck at it, and I, a 20-year friendship with you, I don't step up and say something, you would have every right to be upset with me. Well, I'd break your jaw. No, I'm right. kidding. But right. no, the whole thing is, is that I've been on this show. I've been on with Kevin for way before this shit even happened. Chatters before. are torn, by the way. I agree with Shuli. And Pat did a great thing. <laughs> you see, it's, it's very 50 50. But like, you know, he gave out Brennan's number on the air and then he gave it out like 20 times. And and he goes, oh, I'll give out my number. But like, you know what I mean? It's like and that this whole thing was retarded. That whole thing is like, oh, I gave out Kevin's number because Kevin gave out Mike Calta's number. Like, wait, 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 who's Robin Hood of cell phone numbers over yeah. here? Yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking grow up and and do a goddamn show, you idiots! Stop giving out people's fucking phone numbers. How about that? That's not a show. That's not content. That's being a fucking idiot. Like, sorry. If you can't come up with a fucking bit or or a video to watch or a news story to talk about and, and your answer is to give out people's fucking phone numbers, don't be on the air. That's not that's not what you do. You do so that I'm, when you have I'm a, his a content now. Board. You could do no, you could do that when you have a message board show uh, with yeah. 30 people listening. But you know, if you're on a network, you can't be giving people's fucking number out. No matter what, that's across the board. In my opinion, that's dumb. Yes. I'm saying everybody's got a piece of the wrong pie here, okay? Yeah, but stay, the fuck, stay away from my fucking plate. That's what I'm saying. But now he's acting like a tough guy and challenging people to fights. You got to beat up right foot. He got beat up. He wasn't expecting a fight, Rob. He wasn't expecting. You, you, it's like he came with gloves and, and trunks on and then lost the fight. No, he was in a bar having a drink, and a guy walked up and punched him in the fucking face. And said, That's keep the change, fight. you filthy fucking animal. That's not a fight. So, you know, I don't know. If he wants to fight people, that's his call. At least he's prepared for it. At least yeah. he knows there's it's coming. But, but uh, you I, know, at the end of the day, you've known him longer than you've known me. Yeah. And and regardless of what he's saying right now, the reality of this is he's not in a great place right now. You know, and you've been in that situation. Yeah, but I tried to call him and talk to him and he, Bob, he goes, Bob, you've been where he's been. You've lashed out at people that cared about you and that tried to support you and that loved you because you were in a bad place. Yeah. And I tried to help him with that, but he doesn't want no help for that. He doesn't have well, a neither problem. Neither did you at that time. Neither did well, you. Yeah. But what are you going to do? You got it. What I'm saying is you're you're going on old instincts right now. And you need to take a step back because there's a lot of similarities where you were at in life and where he's at right now. Am I right, Mike? You were there. Yes. Yeah. You were not to, very easy to reason with, Bob. When I thought, was you, on medication. Well, yeah. You get it. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, he's on a different type of medication prescribed by Jameson. <laughs> and it's it's not doing it's not doing good things for him. And I love Gino. This comes from a place of love, okay? Yeah. Gino's a fucking funny guy. I know a lot of people hate him. I know a lot of people say he sucks. But Gino is a guy that when I hang out with Gino, it's I, I laugh and have 
such a great time. Every time. Every time. And now, you know, my point in all this is, you know, it's not as cut and dry as as people think on Twitter who don't know these people. Hmm. You know, being a loyal listener doesn't mean you know this person. Doesn't mean you 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 know what's going on in their lives. Although Gino gives out his number, so you can probably call and find out. <laughs> but yeah. but you know, before you throw away a thirty year friendship, because we I, didn't talk for a decade. I know, but I didn't throw away nothing. I'm I'm not even. I, I don't I think I've ever attacking. said anything bad. I know you're not attacking the guy, but but take a step back and understand that you would be bothered if Mike and I did a show where somebody attacked you on a regular basis and we just sat there. We just sat. You'd you'd think to yourself, I smile. I thought these guys were my friends. I, I am. I don't say anything bad. That's their fight. Let them fight like men because they're mad at each other. I but can't. If, you're, if it's your show and you're part of the show, it's you and Kevin on that show. You're not just you're not an audience member. You're part of the show. So you're involved with what's being said. No, I'm not officially part of the show. I don't think he says that because it always goes bad when he says that this is my new whatever. So but uh, you're on every show, right? Yeah, Julie is ignoring that Gino is going after. But I am not doing anything. I didn't even know about this because I'm doing He's seven shows a day. He's yelling at me, not you, you fucking angry idiot. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Julie is ignoring that Gino is going after. He's going after me. I have, I have, I, I have no idea what he's saying. I'm taping seven shows a day. I'm fucking the comeback kid of 2022. Uh, you know, everybody knows it. And, and, and why am I? Get me out of your fucking drinky cup. OK, stop it. You fucking goddamn alcoholic yelling at people for no reason. God, go to a fucking meeting and then talk to you. If you want to talk this much, just go to a meeting and tell people how Bob hurt your feelings by having other friends. I'm not the one that doesn't get along with people. I seem to get along with everybody. You seem to be fighting with everybody now. You know what I mean? I didn't start all this with everything. I was just there. That's a great idea. Thank you. Take your pants off, guys. Let's I'm gonna put them on to take them off. <laughs> hey, hey, look, see, he doesn't have to defend Gino, but Shuli's one hundred percent right. Right. I'm not saying you got to tell Kevin to shut the fuck up when he's shitting on Gino, but yeah. like, there's people that Kevin brings up when he's attacking them, and I've seen you go. I got no problem with this person. I like this person. Exactly. Now, I understand. I understand he's going after you. But it's better. Uh, because, you know, maybe part of it has to do with the fact that you stopped Kevin from getting physical with him. And maybe he feels like it won't get physical with you guys. Whereas if he keeps talking about Kevin, maybe that'll come back again. I don't know. I'm not into dude's head. <laughs> We have to go behind the headband to figure this out. A cock, oh, I would tell him in it. It wouldn't even be fair. It's it would not. not even be fair. My cock it's would not. make his cry. Yeah. Oh. If he, if he could put his cock and Brennan's cock together, and it still doesn't come. But maybe maybe it would be an ejaculate. Uh, oh, context. first one to come is right. I just came. I just came. <laughs> That's a great argument. So, all right. You Look know at what? Drunk uh, Dino K. Bob has defended Gino. Bob always defends people. Kevin criticized that Bob that Bob likes. Uh, this isn't good enough for Gino. Exactly. What am I supposed to do? And you know what? You could be right. You could be. Maybe it's it's at a point where uh, it's it's never going to be enough until you walk away. It's not. Listen, and it. it it's not Gino's place so, to tell you to walk away from something that, you know, you uh, love. So I walk away from something I love word. doing, uh, yeah. you know, with people I love doing. And I, I you, because of the fact that this is what he's telling. He's my new manager telling me what I should fucking do. What's good and what's not good. You know, it's good. Everything I fucking touch. Look at that fucking boom. Boom. I'll touch you, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm fucking I fucking everything uh, goes to is gold. Your, is your me. table wrinkled now, too? Yeah, touch your face, you motherfucker. Make that <laughs> Listen to me. It's like I'm the man. Don't yell at me like a woman. Shut That's your mouth doing. and get in the kitchen, Bob. Exactly. He's <laughs> yelling at me like a woman would yell at me. This is how a woman would yell at me if I did something wrong, which I don't do anymore because I'm a fucking perfect man now. But he's yelling at me like we're dating. We're not dating. Well, we're not. I never fucked you. Well, since I'm Gino's only friend here, can I just speak for him and say maybe his pussy hurts? 
<laughs> well, if Bob, I did fuck him, him, his call pussy him. would fucking hurt. Call him right now. I'm not fucking calling him. He's fucking yapping like a fucking little gay dog at me. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, look. You call him. Call him like I'm you I'm going to be woman. up there tomorrow. I'm going to be up there tomorrow. And if he wants to talk to me, he can talk to me. I'm not going to yeah, choke right. him give, out. Give, yeah, good. Give them the ratings. Okay. I'm going to, yeah. 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 Good idea. I'll wear, I'll wear a Levy Land shirt. No. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Zark, zero, <laughs> ah! zero Dark Tony 198. Bob needs a soft boil. I don't need a soft boiled egg, motherfucker. Okay. Uh, Franklin Checkler, two dollars. <laughs> Bisconte runs yet ruins yet another show. Incredible. You see? He fucking here ruined it. Beloved chat of love one nine ninety nine. Shuli and Levy trying to control what's said or not on media, like always with stupid people. Yeah, you can't you can't control <laughs> the people. internet. About Talk about you Jews. can't put a leash <laughs> on the internet. You can you can take it for a walk the internet, but you can't fucking keep it out of the street because it's always going to go in the street. I am the comeback king. Thank you, Silent Shape. Uh, Zero Dark Tony four nine eight. Julie is right. Pat deserves to conquer. The... Mm. You can do it. Roll Julie is right. Pat deserves the consequences of his actions. Thank you. Okay, yeah, he does, but that's that's between them, not me. I'm the one that did the fucking. I I I I did a benefit. I I put it together for for his fucking to, to put back his jaw and to get him back on the wall, and 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 then all this happens. Julie David five dollars. Gino ran his mouth for months and got beat up. Now he wants to sue Pat. This is such a BS move on Gino. He's not suing Pat. He's he's pressing char. He's not dropping the charges. Uh, when he was uh, when he was hit, yeah. Brick I City, two dollars. Mister Lee V getting sharp metal from uh, of getting Smegma. sharp metal. Yeah. What? Sharp no. Try that sharp again. Did that again? Sharp no. Sharp no. No. Sharp no. No. Sharp no. no. Sharp no. no. Oh, there you go. Now you got it. Yeah. And then what's the next part? Uh, of Schmegma. Oh, somebody's been learning. Uh, Franklin Sheckler, a little something to help Bob get by until the end. Jersey AG gets him his solar panels money back. <laughs> Only a few would draw a blank on solar panels. Well, Only I'm going to cancel what? it. Only a vampire would. Yeah. would what did he call it? Where? Oh. Only, Only a vampire. I'm not a fucking vampire. <laughs> well, what did you say that was at first? What? The emoji. I didn't. I skipped it. I thought. Oh, it I just, said. I, I. You said. Few or Jew. You said. <laughs> that's what I thought you said yeah. Did Jew. I really? Yeah. 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 All right. Can we finish this? It's pretty harsh, but he's yelling at me for no reason. This is just. This is angry. I feel an hour and a half in twenty minutes. Exactly. Mimit. 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 Sharp. <laughs> sharp. No. Sharp. No. Does Mimit still work for the Stern Show? All right. We'll get back to it. Let's get. Go ahead. And you comedians going and a Fuck great him. On a podcast. Oh. Well, I'm going to do a podcast. You're not, Bob. You're not. You're fucking not. Jesus Christ. And tell your wife, I'm sorry I didn't hit Pat Dixon back. Now, by the way, I don't even have to worry about that because your best friends at MLC will retweet when his sidekick silent. Okay. Hmm. What? Yeah, it's what's uh, <laughs> my it's like wife said that to... you know what she said what? when she goes, if somebody comes up and hit. You know what I mean? Your reaction is to hit back. You know what I mean? You have nothing to lose at that point because of the fact you already been assaulted. So now if you fight back, you're not going to go to jail. But if somebody hits you, your your reaction is to hit back, not run. Yeah, but enough about your guy's honeymoon. I don't really care about that. <laughs> I, You know, he's I don't know, man. He's all over the place. I sent him a text. I told him get in here and uh, I sent him the link. So I don't we'll know see. what he's yelling. Or he's yelling. How? What? I wasn't even. I. I don't even know what he's talking about. You know what I mean? Out of nowhere. Out of you nowhere. Need, you need to get in touch with your chi and and calm down. Mm -hmm. Who? Your chi. Forgive. This is the season of. What do I? I don't need to forgive anything because I never forgot. <laughs> I, I didn't do anything to the motherfucker. I love Gino. I love hanging out with him. I fucking, he makes me he laugh. He feels yeah, you he, didn't support him when somebody right. I didn't that support him. him. What am I supposed Very... to do? Pick up parts of his jaw after the no, punch? No, not that. Just, just, no. just when Kevin goes after him over and over and over again, right. he feels that you are 
joining in on that. Now, what if what if Kevin during the show starts saying something about your wife? Would you sit there and not say anything as well? No, I mean he wouldn't because well, they get no, 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 not wouldn't. What it's if not, he did? It, 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 he's talking. This woman's talking about me. He's talking about me. I'm not talking about him. I when Kevin talks about it, I don't say anything bad. He, they have a problem. That's their problem. They have to figure it out. I tried to do this shit, and it doesn't fucking work. I tried to patch these <laughs> two together. It, it, it. You know what I mean? It's like putting a solar panel on a roof. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen for free. No, no. But, the, but listen, you have a relationship with your wife. You have a relationship with with Kevin. So if he said something about your wife, you would speak up just like you have a relationship with Gino. It's not the same as your wife. Of course. I'm not fucking Gino. Well, well listen, uh, I don't cuddle with Gino. I don't fucking say I love you all day. Broke back. I'm not broke back. <laughs> so you're uh, saying uh, uh, you our, our fabs two dollars wife four yeah number four okay sometimes it takes some people a little longer than others to get their shit together all right i fucking learned that fucking goddamn keep that belt on i'm fucking so you're uh, saying your relationship with gino is not worth saving it's not worth fighting for if i'm if, gonna i'm gonna stop fucking kevin from a fucking great rant about somebody because i have feelings i have feelings no because you should do the right thing and do the and right thing what, the, what am i spike lee now <laughs> i'm not He's... doing the right thing i i do the right thing by shutting up and not fucking making fun of my friend i have nothing bad to say about him until he opens his mouth about me and, and you guys and fucking Rob Soul and, and, and Chris Abels. Oh, They're so basically you... handicapped. I have to fight back. Brick City, two dollars. Try a vin yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Try a <laughs> vinyaza. Find your inner self, Mr. Levy N Nemsmith. Listen uh, to our, me. Our, our <laughs> program, hold on. Our uh, our program director's chiming in. Uh, who cares? Make Bob read things. That's funnier than that. Who do you, Steve? What do you know what funny is? You fucking you listen to me. You come in here. Don't you fucking complain. Nobody puts out what we put out. We put out fucking more fucking gold than anyone. Thank you, Hendrick good. Silverstein. They knock, knock 22. 22. It's what just, would you it's say if Kevin went after Shuley? I'd agree with him. Okay, you want the truth? <laughs> All right, is that what you want? You want it? Kevin does it. Kevin Julie's she, nobody goes well, after Shuley because Shuley. The offer to uh, MLC to come over to Kibbutz Shuli is off the table now. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm just saying, listen to me. It, it, Kevin's not going to go after uh, odds of Bob crying. I'm not going to want to cry. I'm going to cry from fucking laughing that this guy's just going to yell at me to fucking people with whiskey in them. You know what I mean? You don't piss off a vampire. Thank you, Slam Free. Yeah. <laughs> Zero Dog Tony 199. Gina makes me some creamer. We listen to me. I'm just saying I am not your problem. Don't make me your problem. You got you got other stuff you gotta work at. I don't have a problem. I don't have a fucking problem. And if I had a problem, you would know about it. You would really know about it. And and that's a fact. Uh Bob should uh, write a self-help book. <laughs> I would definitely read that. I will. I'll, I'll say, hey, your jaw was broken. Now shut your fucking mouth a little bit. That's what I'm saying. It's like you don't fucking, you know what I mean? You don't. It's like a rapist coming out, swinging his dick around, going, yeah, I'm looking for chicks after you fucking get uh, sent out of prison. Okay, how pack of $2? Uh, pack derm, patchy derm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we calm down. We don't need you having a stroke. I'm not having a fucking stroke. I'm just saying... You know what I mean? Some people got to shut the fuck up. If you shut the fuck up, life goes good. I'm telling you, you don't always have to talk. Of course, you're Tim, Team Bob, uh, TK, Susel. The whole thing is you can just listen. When you listen, you absorb more than you do when you, re you, you, you regurgitate bullshit. And you're wow. regurgitating shit that you don't know what. You're telling me what shows I'm good at, what shows I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that good of a host on me, dudes. I'm not. Jesus fucking Christ. You know what I mean? I fucking, oh, God. Uh, beloved chat, a loved one. I have patchy term in the winter. I don't even know what that is. So what we've learned is if Kevin uh, was bad-mouthing Shuli, you would just sit there and not say anything. 
No, I would say I would go. Julie is a good dude, and you know oh, it. So you, you know. don't. So you. Like I do him. say that. I do say that about G. I like Gino. I like his girl. He whatever I he says. Heard it, you I heard you say that about his girl many times. So Kevin goes pretty hard in the paint on Gino's girl. Yeah. And and I've heard you say she's sweet. She's always been nice to me. She's a good girl. We really like her. Right. Right. So I will say, Bob. Bob has stepped up to the plate. Yeah, a lot of but, times I step up to the plate. You know what I mean? I don't want to. You think I wanted to talk about uh, uh, Gino? You know what I mean? Uh, Rex uh, Five Dollars. All respect to the Reverend Bob Lee, the hardest working man. In That's right. And I don't miss. I never fucking miss. Okay? You miss except me. I don't miss you. Of, except when he's trying to think of the word solar panels. Then he <laughs> right. misses. Fred Hollywood Show. I'm on Team Bob's jacket. Thank you. Thank you. All it's right. not about team. It's not against me and him. I love Gino. I just don't know why he's bringing me in. He's trying to bring me in so I turn on Kevin and Rob and Chris. I can't do that. I can't. I don't turn on people All right. unless let's I'm on get, pills. Let's, let's calm down. Let's get centered with your chi, okay? I want you to watch this. Is this is this watch what this does for people soon as you see me move everything you got in there you push it out what can we do it we can do it Hold on. is he taking okay. a shit sure. no what he's going to do is he's going to go on the other side and he's going to come running full speed at these guys and they're going to stop them with their chi oh okay. what, what? all right they're they're gearing up okay Loading up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, worked. It stopped him, and he came all over. Yeah, she makes you come. Who knew? Right. <laughs> that could work. Hey, look at me. Yeah, you can do that, Bob, because you have low chi. <laughs> no, no, I look, I, I, I don't, I don't like to see people fighting. Truthfully, I, I don't like to see friends fight. I like to see, you know what I mean? Because in the end, we had so much fun, all of us together. Me, Kevin, Kumia, and Gino. We, we've done shows that are hilarious, you know. And all of a sudden, there's a hate thing going on. But I'm not. I have, I, I have no hate Do at this you moment. Think, let me ask you this: Do you think? Honest question. You say there's a lot of hate going on. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Kevin might be a little responsible for some of that hate? I'm just asking a question. I'm playing devil's advocate mm -hmm. because a lot of people, I'm a fan of Kevin. I've worked with Kevin uh, uh, in stand up. I, I, I've listened to his show. There's, there's, he's kind of painting himself into a corner where people are expecting him to attack people. That's what he does. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, so my question again, do you think he has any responsibility in this rise of hatred lately? I think if if Gino would have never gave out his number, it would never it would this would never be happening right now. So you're saying if Gino never gave out his mm -hmm. number, he's never attacked Gino for for anything uh, before that until he gave us. I don't know their history, so I'm asking I'm not. We were all friends. We were all friends. We did Gino's show. We 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 hung out. We hung out up there. It was fun. It was, but the number thing was that started it all, and that's it. You know, it's not it's not anything I did. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. Just throwing it out there. Let's get back to the chi. Do you want to do this? It's like pushing forward. With a shout. So he's getting some new recruits to try it again. Okay. Ready? Yes. Come here. You don't have to touch. Can you come, Magnus and uh, Rebecca? Magnus, come Magnus, here. Please. Rebecca. Rebecca, show me your papers. Drag your chi oh. over here. <laughs> bring, bring that fat ass chi over here. <laughs> if you stand here, you stand here. Can I just tell you that I laughed for about seven and a half minutes last night, <laughs> stoned out of my mind. I couldn't wait to play this for you. And Magnus and Rebecca, you pre prepare her. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to come, so you have to. <laughs> <laughs> you must stop it from hitting your face when I do. <laughs> yeah, story of my life, sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now if you notice, this one they're doing different. The other one, both guys were facing where the guy was coming mm -hmm. from, right? This guy has his back Good. to where the guy's coming from, and the woman is facing him. She does not look happy about no. this. <laughs> Somebody, if there's anybody yeah. that's got blanks loaded in the cheek gun, it's that woman right there. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> yeah, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> Get ready to put a smile on your face, Bob. Okay. <laughs> nice dippers. Yeah, watch. <laughs> She in three D, bitch. <laughs> Boom. Now, did the guy with the ponytail give her number out? Is that how this started? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's the worst thing to do. I get I like Gino doesn't mind people texting him and talking to them, but sometimes you know you have a family, you don't have time to talk to you know a fan. <laughs> well, hey, oh, you're saying Kevin's busy being a family man? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you got stuff to do. Would you like if your phone was getting blown up all day? Um, by I drove 10 to a people? gig with Kevin, and my wife texted me twice, and he gave me the most disgusted look and said, what are you guys in love? And again, <laughs> yeah. If my wife texts me twice, one of the kids is dead or something. Like he was <laughs> like, are you, you guys talk? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it. What's he now shaking he about? <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking ran over that big nose yeah. fucking bitch. And yeah, now he's, he's shaking. He's, he's, thinking he's about like, the lawsuit. oh, I'm hurt too. He's thinking about the lawsuit that's right, coming. He's that's going, yeah. it's not me. This cheese out of control. Look. <laughs> yeah, you can't sue me. Sue the cheese. <laughs> oh, look, she blew out her asshole. Yeah. <laughs> she, she oh, oh my god, she's she's gaping. What's yeah. going on here, lady? <laughs> I'm getting strangely turned on by this. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I love yeah. chat a loved one. Explain how this is different than making a woman come. I do stuff and she flips out, but I can't prove anything actually <laughs> happened. It's a that's a great statement. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what happened? He goes. <laughs> he gets up. He goes. I feel great. Yeah. Where were you guys? Where the fuck were you guys? Oh uh, yeah. It, it, it wasn't the guy running it, six yeah. miles an hour. It was their uh, fault. How is their fault? What the fuck? The typical blaming everybody else. That's what we looked at the earlier video. <laughs> Look at this guy. I'll help her. Yeah, they're all, they're all Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. You have a fucking broken fucking collarbone, and they're like, "No, nah, let me just hover my hand yeah, over you. you this will help." Yeah. Oh Jesus! Roll it over. That's a great. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> That's the first thing I tell you. If you think something's broken, roll the person over. That's the best thing you could possibly do. When he stabilized yeah. her head, he just grabbed yeah. her from the yeah, she went from a boulder. <laughs> she, <laughs> she went from a paraplegic to a quadriplegic in like three seconds. The guy's like kicking her with her foot, rolled her over. <laughs> <laughs> She's too loud. <laughs> He's going to give her a palm strike right. to your fucking nose. Kill her. Uh, <laughs> Look at these guys in the back going, I am not doing this. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Uh, it works. Yeah. Uh, do it over her uh, uh, badge. Give her a fucking uh, orgasm. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're, you're, you're a tea bagger now. No <laughs> fuck was happening. <laughs> Luke. <laughs> These guys are thinking, I thought that solar panel scam I had was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh no! Kids, kids watching this. That's oh, horrific. Oh my god. Gee <laughs> bang, gee bang. <laughs> you guys want to see a dead body? Stand over here and breathe. And I heard after he ran into it, he got fired from Compound Media. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, she she didn't know it was coming. She's busy breathing. Okay, you ready to join us in the circle? <laughs> I'm going to pick her up and bury her. And it works. It's just a mental visualization that you know without a sand grain of doubt that it works. And then it does. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give this channel some love. Uh, Toad Munch, I'm subscribed. Please go and subscribe. Let them know we sent you. Fucking hilarious. And there's so much stuff on this fucking channel. It's ridiculous. There's, uh, uh, what a, hold on. This is liar. Look at this shit. You gotta see this shit. This is great. This is people getting busted lying. Oh, uh, I love it. Yeah. Stay in your house. What? America's Got Talent looked like it found a new star this week. Sergeant Timothy Poe, a wounded soldier left with an audible scar. I I had got hit by by a grenade in Afghanistan and and it, it broke broke my <laughs> back and gave me a brain injury. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. He's full of shit. So that, <laughs> right. The only reason I'm making fun of this guy is because he's full of shit. Yeah, That's the yeah. reason why I stu stutter a little bit. Some of Sergeant Poe's fellow soldiers were also amazed, not because of Poe's singing, but because of his story. They say it never happened. The National Guard confirmed that Sergeant Poe's military records do not show he was injured by a grenade in Afghanistan where he served for just one month. There's <laughs> more. In May, Poe told our ABC. I think I think uh, comics who have done USO tours were in Afghanistan longer. Than yeah. that. <laughs> what did he fall getting up onto the plane? You right, know, come yeah, on. yeah. Dallas affiliate WFAA. He was shot and injured while serving in Iraq. In the firefight, I, I took a bullet in in the leg. But the National Guard says Sergeant Poe was never even deployed to Iraq. And this photo used on America's Got Talent, it's not actually a picture of Poe. <laughs> I mean, the real the real crime here is America's Got Talent ain't fact checking shit. Yeah, yeah, wow. It's, it's sending a picture of a black guy going, "This is me in uh, Afghanistan. I got burnt by a fire." Yeah. Oil yeah. Spill. Yeah. Here's here's the part of the story you don't know that if they hadn't uncovered this, he was two months away from uh, announcing at the Tonight Show. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably would have been elected president. Yeah. Tim, he would have lost to a dog act though in the finals. <laughs> His stuttering by helping him sing in the shower. That's how he learned his hidden talent. But we've learned now that even before he went to Afghanistan, he was singing in a band. What a piece of shit. Oh, man. Uh -huh. It's the truth. Now, this is him apologizing. But just... I know. It's the truth that I truly think is real. <laughs> it's the truth that I truly think is real. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And that's horrible because I don't know what. <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at these women. They're, 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 this isn't their shit. The guy who's walking up filming, yeah. it's his shit. Watch wow. this. You want to talk about uncomfortable and awkward? Wow. Is that yours? Oh, yeah, but we don't know how to do it. Oh, you need some help? You know how to do you it? Know how to do yeah, this is our stuff. This is yours? Yes. Wait a minute. Don't touch the daughter. No, it is. 
<laughs> look at wow. this. They're going, no, wait, no, these are ours. He's going, no, you lying cunts. This is all my shit. Wow. This is all ours. Now, you have to make a call at some point when you're caught in a lie like this, right. especially on camera. That you got to cut your losses and walk away. Right. But Sorry. these people, these people yeah. always double down and they try to sell the, mm. this person on the fact that this is not their stuff. It's it's a mental illness that's unreal. Uh, all of it. The chairs, the bag, this is all our stuff. My kids. Yep, that's my kids. I'm sorry. Yeah. Your kids look like shit. And, and he couldn't be more polite about right. it, too. You know what an asshole I'd be if this was me? Oh, uh, yeah. It's okay. We'll let it slide. But I'm glad I, I made it in no, time. I'm not making it slide. I'm oh. telling you. No. You, you, there, no. You, no. Step away from my shit. How about that? Now she's <laughs> mad. That turned the camera off. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> fucking thief. You know what? I will, and then I'm going to take that camera and put it in the grass. Are you going to like that? Put it in the grass. You're at the beach. <laughs> oh my god. She's going to take it home and put it yeah. in the grass. Go find me a patch of grass, you <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> you fucking cow. <laughs> Step back. Stop it. Seriously? Yeah. Our iPad. That's great. This is another story. This fucking TSA agent stole an iPad. I think you guys want to watch this one? Yeah, why not? They don't pay them enough. It's great. He takes this iPad. Watch how they catch him. TSA officer Andy Ramirez. We filed this missing property report, but we're told nothing had been found and that we were essentially just out of luck. But we had been able to track our iPad the night it disappeared, 30 <laughs> miles away from the airport, to the home of the TSA officer. So they, so they put on the fucking right. GPS tracker, and it leads them right to the guy's house. <laughs> when they show up, what do you think the guy does? Hmm. Brian Ross, maybe it is. Two weeks later, we showed up at Ramirez's house. We're looking for a missing iPad. Missing iPad? Yeah. Hmm. And the tracking device shows that it's located right here at this address. Okay. Is it here? No, sir. And <laughs> no, technology has failed you, my friend. Uh, <laughs> there is no iPad here. Again and again, Ramirez denied knowing anything about the missing iPad. Did you take it? No, sir. You did not take it, no, sir. If there was only a way they could trigger some sort of uh, alert or a long oh, on the iPad, yeah. then they would know Jeez. for sure. Yeah, if after funny. setting off an audible alarm on the missing iPad and asking him to search his house again, Ramirez produced it. You found it. There it is. What are the odds? <laughs> With his TSA uniform shirt now off, Ramirez claimed that it was his wife who had taken it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, the guy's bad. This bitch, she's got a problem. Goes, I, don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I can't turn my head for a second. Not him. I want you to explain how this iPad left at a TSA screening station ended up in your house. My wife's, I'm so embarrassed. Your, your my wife, wife? My wife says she got the iPad and brought it home. You know that? My that, wife. My, my, my. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that the reporter won't shut the alert off. So right. it's still going on through the whole thing. <laughs> because the last time we saw it, it was in your hands. It wasn't in your wife's hands. We saw it in your hands. Isn't it true that that's not your mustache you're wearing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this shit is. This is all DNA shit. The rest of this. Oh, this guy's a stolen Valor, dude. Another weird thing. These guys stolen Valor shit. Yeah. <laughs> They'll ask him questions, and he's like, and he's just answering these questions if he knows. And the guy asking him knows the answers, right, and he's right. like, <laughs> what, the the fact that they think they're going to fool these people is really the sickness. Uh, I talked about yesterday fake martial arts masters. That's how I ended up on that site. Um, and this was the video I talked about yesterday that I wanted to show you. This guy claimed he could stop uh, attacks, you know, hmm. any attack. He's, he's this kung fu master. So check it out. So it's the guy on the, in the in the you know in the, with the blonde hair. He's the he's the master guy. He's, the master. And he's basically saying you're gonna sit right across from me. You're gonna try and hit me. And you're not gonna be able to. Oh, 
What the fuck? Got some stretch this out. Yeah, my cheese, my cheese, a little cramped here. <laughs> It hurt my face. Let me stretch my arm. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, let's yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Right, my, get, my my mantra. Get, my, get my mantra going here. Okay. Now yeah. I'm ready now. This is not working well. <laughs> you know how hard it is to knock somebody out from your knees? Yeah. Well, uh, long story short, the guy's uh, karate school had to be shut down. Yeah. Uh, did, not, did not go well yeah. after that. Yeah. If you dress like that, you're probably not a master of anything. It was, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. <Yeah>. no. <laughs> you're a master of laundry, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Steve it. said Dixon's punch was much better. You see, he, well, I mean, he that was a lucky shot. You understand? I don't think it's a shot that he he's ever thrown before. I don't think he's a fighting man. Uh, I just think that he had a lot of rage in him that day. And it happens, you know, people mm -hmm. uh, do stupid stuff. Hey, somebody sent me this video from Levy Land last night. Can we watch this? Okay. Hmm. Why well, you load that up? I'm going to put my pants back on because it's yeah, cool. yeah. I've changed. Yeah. I have. I, uh, I don't know if I should star. Start. I keep thinking Bob's talking in here and I pause it. <laughs> I forget he's talking in there. All right, go ahead. I have. I, uh, I don't know if I should star. start with the. I, I should start with the offer I've been given about Levy Land and uh, or should we talk about the prison? Let's uh, let's hear the Levy Land offer. Yeah, let's hear the Levy Land okay. offer. Okay, as first. you know, I've been a little busy doing a few shows and all that. And, uh, you know, some of them uh -oh. are, are, some of them are, are hitting pretty big. Uh, that's the rumor in the street, you know. <laughs> We've been off it a buyout to go to the Shuley Network. Of course you have. <laughs> I'm going to write a number on this piece of paper. <laughs> I'm going to draw a middle finger on this piece of paper and slide it over to you. What are you, what are you oh. yelling about? I give you good news and you're fucking yelling at me. Of course, look at you, guy. What do you got against Jews or something? What do you... What, oh, we're going to leave you land? They're, they're tr yeah, they're trying to buy out Levy Land? Listen, listen. Can we still have our Lee, own Levy Land Patreon, or we have to do all Levy Land shows on there? No, I, no I we got to forfeit that. all profits. No, no, no. You there would be there would be financial uh, gain from this. Uh, I'm still talking. It's still that I left the papers in my office, and uh, I'll, <laughs> my you know office. what I mean. It's look, I am, I am hot now. Let's get this out of the way. You know what I mean? It's hot. Yeah, I see. Uh, Prison does look, that to men. <laughs> hmm. All right. He's trying to buy us out. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like I had to go to them because of the fact that, you know what I mean? It's like we're trying to build something stronger. And uh, basically, you know, as Gino says, these two are holding me back. <laughs> I agree. So I say let's do the buyout. Um, in my hand right now, I have $53 mm. cash. And that is on the table. Okay. I don't want Levy land. Keep the land. Okay. I don't want the Levy. All right. So here's $53. It's cash. You guys are never going to see Levy again. You know what I'm saying? Not, I am going to Bisconti. He's not allowed on Levy land anymore. I want the logos to now say land. <laughs> it's gonna say Shuley Land. I told him the name change and everything. So I listen. I'll be honest with you. I have. I'm not familiar with Levy Land. I haven't watched uh, episodes yeah. continuously. Yeah. I would like to, and maybe Mike, mm -hmm. maybe Mike can join me if he has the time. But almost like efficiency experts, I want to mm -hmm. sit 
I want to watch a show and I want to see where, you know, where mm. we might need to make some adjustments. Mm. Um, yeah. You know, we might have to trim some fat. It's so no offense, yeah. Chris. It's not yeah. all directed at you. <laughs> They're both in the room right now. Look at them. I knew it. Yeah. Hey, just like, just like when uh, Musk bought Twitter, you know, a lot of people had to go. You know what? We'll, we'll put up a poll. Right. That's what he does. Right. So sure. Should Levy Land come to Kibbutz Shuli? Is that the poll we're putting up? <laughs> yeah, put it up. Okay. Shuli. 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 <laughs> Shuli. <laughs> I just think it's a good move. Uh, I think uh, basically Rob is agreeing with me. Steel Toe. Uh, hold on. Steel Toe brings up a great point. Yeah. Buy them out? No. They, they you out. out. <laughs> Put it by because what you meant. Yeah. He still has yeah. a hangover, you know. Yeah, he's he's hurting. <laughs> he's hurting from last night. We should really pull a clip of that. I, he apologized, though. I thought he put it in a donation up here. Yeah. Oh, David Chandler's here, the prettiest oh. man in town. Oh, Look at him. The daddy. Oh, come on, baby. David Chandler, 99.99. Wow. I'm tapped out from April's birthday, but always have more for Bob. Thank you. You wow. know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> Hendrick Silverstein, knock 55. I think Bob will finally get a pull. Thank you, Shirley. You see? <laughs> Uh, Jacob Ryan, 199. Can you get King of All Blacks on the show, Shirley? No. Okay, keep going. Uh, Franklin Checkler, $2. This is your stuff. You broke my jaw. Fake injury. Whoa. <laughs> Dave, Dave Dallifer, $5. It's it's reading rainbow time. Not yet. I got Still Toe Morning Show, $10. Uh, yeah. I want to apologize for any of you that had to burn your eyeballs and bury them due to my boorish behavior last night during Rico. <laughs> Keep up the good work, old guys. We love you, buddy. All good. Old guys. No, you, you're you the one it. with the you, you're the one that has the old guy tits, man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he, he had one tit that was just like it was flabby. You know what I mean? It's like that's it the one like, you would go for in prison. It was like the painting in Goodfellas. One tit's going this way, one going that way. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Uh zero dog Tony one ninety nine. How many Russian yards did she get on that one? She didn't get any. She uh weekend at Bob's two dollars. Fuck you, bird. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Dave Dallifer, two dollars. W G Ha Steve Plan. Yep, that's later. Uh, Crush is seventeen. Buy still toe out too. Keep the blonde. <laughs> Zero Doc Tony one ninety nine down at the two yard line. Uh, Jason Abrams uh, one ninety nine. Brennan had his Twitter nuke this morning. Yes, you see, and guess who's going to be blamed for it now? Gino will be blamed for it. <laughs> Beloved chatter, love one one ninety nine, but above ground pool, but above ground pool because Vineland. The fuck does that even say? Get your are shit you, together, boy. Are you lighting your own super chats now? I'm not. No, I, I, I look. There will be a pool. There will be a brand new fence. It, the Levy Land. Oh, well, October of it. October of twenty four. Right. Got to change it to Shuley Land Yard. Uh, the silent shape missing. I, I can't keep missing. <laughs> is in Bob Bobable. <laughs> missing in in Bobable. Oh, okay. Impossible. I got it. But look, the whole thing is, if we come over, it's better. We'll have a bigger crowd to go in front of. And uh, it just makes sense. You know what I mean? What, what, are we, what are we doing? You know what I mean? It's like, this is what happens. You, you get bought out by sense. bigger but companies. If, if, but if we can, you know, speak uh, uh, candidly here, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, it is, it is an odd thing to bring in a show that doesn't have a lot of viewers and then pay them to do that show yeah. where's the oh, upside for, that, uh, for, right like what's yeah. what's in it what's in it well, for, well for we life? have we have over uh two thousand and something members of it oh, and then also you know we do anywhere from three two to four thousand an episode which which isn't bad you know because we and we put it up on everything i put it in chat rooms like today i'll put it like you know what i mean i'll right. put it but in, i would uh, imagine most of those people are on our how do you know what do you what are you going through the books how do you know where people come from they got people you don't have people you got, got landscapers in front of your fucking house <laughs> i know 
We've been we've been doing this for a little while now. Uh, people know the brand. It's a good brand to have in here. It, it'll mm. it'll help out all around. I think and, it would drag it down a little bit, but I you know I think mm-hmm. they I think they need to um, bring a little something to the table here. Yeah. I think I think there's got to be uh, some initiative here, where yeah you know we're it's like my okay, candy or something yeah something. something. Yeah. What if we do two? shows as a hey look at us and then see what happens trial see, run a trial run hmm. all that's, i need yeah. is an audition that's all i ever needed you put me you give me a chance i win that's what i do okay rob so and we have 400 a month patreon oh don't leave that out there we just started <laughs> we just started and we're not asking for huge payments just some fucking hmm. super chat storing our show that's a pretty good fucking deal you we keep the super chats you we move everything into the fucking family. Hmm. Is Shuli froze? No, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm okay. just I'm mapping yeah. out figures here. I'm looking. Yeah. Not a lot going on. Got the what, account you, and we'll let you watch the show. We're going on at twelve thirty. What, what did we do to you? What? What? Yeah. What? No, you make it him. twenty. Look at that zero darkness. We're going in for some. I'm telling. It's a good deal. It's going to help everybody. It keeps me on, on the one Tired. bubble. And then I only have one show that's not under the bubble that I do. And and I think that's pretty fucking good. That's a pretty good deal. And that's I'm I'm putting that on the table. Mm. I mean, look, it is a good deal. Ideally, I think though, uh maybe you might be doing a few too many shows. All right, I'll get rid of Rob. Okay. Done. Okay. Now we got a deal. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. no, I think I think I don't know. I think the trial run is probably the best way to go with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let, let's City, try it out. Mr. Levy, what's your cost to acquire a new listener? Great if you question. give me 10, I'll give you back four. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> I, so, I can't. Bob, your name. Al- oh, thank you, Burnett. Um, Bob, your name alone is worth a million. Exactly. I'm a commodity now. I'm a hot commodity. Everybody wants a piece of fucking Levy. Everybody. It's across the board. The name Levy Land is an established brand because Bob is older than Jerusalem. No, I'm not. <laughs> it is. Listen to me. We have good fans, not bad people at all. Like, you know what I mean? They, they just enjoy... Uh, you know they enjoy the show, and 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 if if we have your blessing, Sir Shuli, mm-hmm. we would like to come here with our product in our hands and say, "Hey, we'd like to be part of this family." What do we got to do? Well, of course, anybody would, because you're 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 going into a larger platform, a larger audience. Why would? Yeah, but you? I'm I'm kind of part of the platform, you fuck. So right. like, I'm bringing in. Right, but you're bringing... here. Yeah, but you're... right, the platform did get large. <laughs> Because of Levy Land, it right. got large. Because yeah. of us, you're here doing bringing this. you here in uh, Levy Land here with you in it. It's 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 a moot point because you're already here. Yeah. So why why I don't I can just unpack. I don't have to keep going back and forth. What's Levy Land? Don't make believe you don't know. <laughs> What's Levyland? Okay, we we have like four hundred and something dollars of Patreon money every month. We just started that, so we just started. But we're growing. We got like 15 net last week. I mean, if you look at the numbers and you put them all together, we want to be there. <laughs> look at him. With his numbers. Well, that's all I've been doing this whole time, looking at numbers. We're doing the Patreon at 1230. You guys can sit in the back room and watch and understand the genius of this show. And uh, you will understand that this is a perfect fit. We're like peanut butter and jelly. 12 30 this afternoon yeah 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 hmm. that's oh, in, sorry, we have to cut, we have to cut this short so you can do that, Is that no we're not cutting so everything there, short. that i have an issue with hmm. no no we how about hmm. we bring levy land to here and we do levy land live here today boom after hmm. our patreon because we got to do the patreon because we don't want to lose that 450 you know what hold on let me have a uh quick we'll, meeting we'll, with, we'll quick simulcast meeting. it let me have a quick meeting with Mike. So, okay. Mike, yeah, what do you think I should do here? I don't know. I guess you know what. Give him the. Bob, audition. we're not done yet. Stay out. Yeah, right. Give him the audition. Um, 
we'll see what happens. You know, it's, it's do we that's... do it here now? I mean, or do we do we we'll let him prepare a little bit? Let we... him prepare. Yeah, we. Bob, has, I will has... call you when we're done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like tell me, spring is a game. You know, this is this right. is it. This, this is, is this is yeah. This is this is, this is his lose yourself. That's right. moment. That's right. Yeah, he's gonna have some right. spaghetti, mom spaghetti on his that <laughs> fucking right. ugly jacket. So. Don't break it. Don't break a tooth on mom spaghetti. Okay, <laughs> yeah. but be ready. Yeah. So he has to like a super pet. Like, give him a week to put together. I say we give tomorrow. Show. We don't have anything tomorrow other than the BS show. Tomorrow, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let, they want to go on. Let's do it tomorrow. Or are they even doing it tomorrow? I don't know. I probably, you know, are they do are you guys doing one tomorrow too? I was checking my phone. All right. So what I'm saying is mm-hmm. maybe because it's a quick, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh but I think today is too soon for them to come on and do this test yeah. show because right. they yeah, haven't we, had time to prepare any. I'm sure they want to prepare something special. No, we don't prepare nothing. We we just go. Oh, we just go and say, that. follow that's me. Not a, that's not a no, good sign. No, I say, follow me. I know what to do. I guide. I am the guide. I'm the tour guide that will take you to the land of Levy, uh, to the whole hour and whatever episode. I'm sorry. I'm just writing this down. Was that quote, we prepare nothing, nothing. correct? Nothing. Yes. Nothing. So, okay. Yep. So, mm-hmm. All right. Okay. I don't even talk to them during the week. Hmm. Okay. okay. So, if, so if if you did had to lose them, it wouldn't be a big thing since you're it's not, not really a huge them. loss, yeah. right? right? Like you don't talk to them a lot. You guys yeah. aren't super close. I wouldn't I lose uh, like sleep over Kevin. it, but right. I'm just saying, right? You wouldn't I'm wake up in a cold I sweat. That, that, is that is that fucking steel toe again? <laughs> no, this is this dude Nathaniel. I want <laughs> I want to bring him into the uh, kibbutz Shuli as well. Right. Check it out. Yeah, this guy's pretty interesting. I think you'll, I think you'll uh, dig it. My name is Nathaniel. I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jesus hey, Christ. You. Uh, <laughs> <handsome>. <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing thing to me about this is, 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 is they go, like somebody reaches out to it and goes, hey, we understand you have a relationship with your car. We would love to come and film this. And the guy goes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> really? That's not me. And Bob with his new car. Hey, he's dating someone his own age. Look at that. <laughs> That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car. He should be committed. Chase. He's absolutely. Love- oh, and he's gay? Chase. Oh, we always wrong. have such a good time together. The favorite date would be <laughs> you're just kissing dead bugs off the fucking <laughs> bumper of the car. <laughs> One nice two, turtle three. wax poisoning. Yeah. Are these guys prepared to b- deliver content like this? That's what that's what that's yeah. what Rob Saul and Chris have to ask themselves. Yeah. Well, we'll see. It's time to strap up. Mm-hmm. It's time to, and this may scare you, prepare. Yeah. No, love you. No, really, he's like, I refuse. <laughs> but Nathaniel's relationship with Chase goes beyond dates and presents. We have our times when we get sexual. Mm-hmm. Is that feel good? There you go. Handsome man. Love you, baby. I like to <laughs> lean over his fender and across his hood and uh, do little things like that and uh, and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like him. Oh, yeah. His more, yeah, yeah, that's what they named it Chase the car. Oh, yeah, or <laughs> yeah, that's that's the part that Bob's finding offensive. Uh, wait, wait a minute, I thought it was like a chick the, car. The boss joke, <laughs> says, uh, <laughs> the interracial gay marriage. He goes, uh, Bob, dad, uh, I'm, I'm gay, <laughs> and then he, he goes to bring in his husband. He goes, Now sit down. <laughs> Bold positions is for me to be underneath him. Uh, oh boy, he really likes that. <laughs> it's very special to make love to Chase. Oh, yeah, yeah we noticed uh, your starter is filled with cum. Wait a minute, does that say what it? I think it, I gave up men to have sex with ghosts. Yes. Yeah. Let's get into Best. this. In a very sexy negligee, yeah. <laughs> and you went into the spay bedroom <laughs> and uh, and uh, turned the lights off and waited. I did. Yes. And what, and happened? what happened? Um, I waited and waited for a while. And then... By the way, our friend Lenny, still a virgin. This woman is getting dressed in lingerie, <laughs> right. and playing in an empty room, yeah. waiting for a ghost yeah. to fuck her. Yeah, she's so tired of men. She, <laughs> she needs new things to fuck. 
I got a little bit worried. I thought maybe I'd scared it off by being too keen. Oh, okay. And then sort of just as I'd given up hope and was starting to fall asleep, it came to me. And, and what yeah. happened? Um, it, I don't know what I can say on well, TV. Well, you just had <laughs> to have, wait. You, you, had, had, you had sex? Yeah. yeah, I had sex with the sex? ghost. With the ghost? Yeah. Yes. This um, r relationship carried on for some time and eventually you got busted by your boyfriend. Yeah, I was... Um, <laughs> he walked in on you fucking nothing? <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking air on me again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you straddling that pillow? Yeah. Well, work Walter says early. the pussy smells like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Who are you going to call? Apparently, Ghost fuckers! We saw... <laughs> the shape of a man through the spare room window okay. when he pulled up which oh, is unusual because the <laughs> the, go the spirit had or ghost had never showed him his physical form to you at all yeah, and yet interest your fiance did yeah I which i was slightly annoyed about to be honest there have been m many other spirits um that have come to visit you yeah. been, yeah. and tour. some have lasted i i ate amelia Earhart out <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> One time, hey, Blinken, boy, can he eat ass? Oh, that guy <laughs> sticks as long as his hat. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I am a specter slut. Is the ghost <laughs> the baby's daddy next on Leaving Land? Look, we don't do that kind of show. You should, it's great. Did a little bit longer. It's, so not, it's not the same one coming back 20 times. No, no, it's no. often different ones. What a fucking ghost. <laughs> <I should> have... <laughs> Unbelievable. She's pulling a like, train who's, up who's from the really other mentally world. ill here? The woman who thinks she had sex with a ghost or the producers and, and the television people and these guys for all sitting there and lying to this woman's face and pretending that what she's telling them is super normal and she's not going to get goofed on. Like, these people are just right. as fucked up as she is. Oh, well, though, yeah, they're they're bad, but they listen. They want to make some ratings, right? So I get it. it. I yeah. wish I could book her on here. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'd have her co-host with me in a second. And we just, we just did two hours with a fucking potato. I know. So we no, <laughs> crushed it. Yeah. Actually, you've got quite a name for yourself in this. <laughs> he mashed it. That's what you guys say. Would you like to become pregnant with yeah, this? Yeah, at some point, not now. But I mean, that would be quite I a unique know. thing to see, wouldn't it? A go <laughs> like a ghost, the ghost <laughs> baby. Like, so, um, uh, yeah. be like Casper. <laughs> Hitler was a great fuck, I must say. <laughs> what is this guy in love with? Uh -oh. He's fucking a. <laughs> He's boat what? engine. <laughs> it's a boat oh, it engine. Like it. Amy's main lover is a humble fairground ride called 1001 Nacht. The woman yeah, has all the way of the same. You smell good. <laughs> God, Look you smell that. so good. He's just so noble, so proud, so strong. So fat. I not only love him for his sexual attraction, I mean, we're not talking about fetish here. I love. <laughs> no, this is, this is true love. This isn't a fetish. Listen, they have a Jesus connection. Christ. Meanwhile, this woman's been more romantic uh, in 20 seconds than Levy has. And <laughs> all of the marriages. Really? What are you kidding? I'm, most, I'm, I'm like fucking, it, I'm like Valentino. I swear to God. Like, I'm telling you, drive them crazy. Yeah, I think like, if, if that amusement park ride had wanted a tree for Christmas, she would have put up a tree for it. Yeah, right. We're getting a tree <laughs> next year. Yeah. Oh, perfect timing. Mm -hmm. As a mate. John's wrapping gifts day of Christmas. You can't get his fucking tree before Christmas. You make me feel so alive, 1001 Oct. I can touch the sky as your counterweights descend and your gondola rises. My days are brighter when I gaze upon your handsome face. I love the roundness of his counterweights at the top. Who doesn't? I Are these their vows? Is she exchanging her <laughs> wedding vows? I <laughs> love the counterweights. Look, she even has a fat earlobe, you fucking animal. I'm on an earlobe diet. Stop <laughs> mocking. Stop fat shaming my earlobes. Uh, here's the scary thing. and All these people can fucking vote. I know. I know. Can you imagine that? Uh, I got to go vote right after I bang this Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, I'm cheating on it with a tilt the wheel, okay? So, uh, hey, oh. if the gravitron finds out, <laughs> look out! Love him for the narrowness of his jibs. <laughs> uh, 
I'm thinking, oh, geez, you know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> when I make love to him. Lunch, you fat fuck. <laughs> Lunch, no, he's not just thinking yeah. When I start climaxing, I just keep saying over and over again. Just as I've I'm never climaxed play. once. I came like a fucking donkey. That's what I fucking do. I don't fucking <laughs> climax. I just keep saying over and over again. This is fucking weird. That's I just <laughs> say that. The edge, I just tell him, I want your fluids. I want your fluids. I Fuck want me like a pirate ah. boat. Yeah. She goes when she comes, she just keeps repeating to the to the ride. I want your fluids. <laughs> 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 Wipe that oil off your face, you filthy whore. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, oh. people are fucked up. How many times over when we've made love at home have I asked you for... At home? Look at me. Genius. <laughs> well, I mean, animal. all day. All day I watch this fucking channel. I, I, can, I, I love it. Absolutely it's ridiculous! Wow. Well, well, I guess. Well, you know, I I kind of understand because Bob loves podcasts. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't see me That's... fucking them. I, you know what yeah. I mean? I'm just doing it. I'm doing it for the people. It's not for me. I do mm. it for you people out there that fucking have nothing going on. You fucking Find you go to me job. You... The person that's asking you to do 17 podcasts. <laughs> okay, I Chad, want tell them. Uh, put your hand up. Say, hey, yeah, yeah. J Jules, David, $10. The three of you are living in a fantasy world. Two months ago, all could not pull 20 people on a show. Now you're all our YouTube experts. It's it, <laughs> if it was not for John, you guys would be pumping gas and obs uh, uh, obsession. Uh, well, first of all, <laughs> we had more than 20 people. That's number, yeah. uh, number two. Um, we changed tires. <laughs> well, now, listen, the John thing. Yeah, John was the jumping off point. No mm. denying that. Yeah. But it's just like getting booked at a club for the first time. That first show ain't, ain't hard. It's coming right. back. It's right. it's it's consistency. It's being able to work that room again and again. And in theory, if you read, you know, the people that that hate us and hate our show, this show has lost steam. It's played out. It's over. It it were it was a cash grab. It's never over. First of all, the numbers have been not even consistent. They're constantly going up on YouTube, on Patreon sponsorships everything is going up so i guess in a way at this point we're definitely more experts than we were before mm -hmm. right yeah. because we're we're succeeding in this and it's just the beginning winning yeah and so you know i'm sorry if it upsets you man but but the reality of it is getting that initial audience to watch that first fucking show is not the hard part it's keeping the people in there and making the numbers grow. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. The amount of people, the number of people that hate this show, we have, we double that just in the waiting room, waiting for a fucking show to start. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it is what it is, man. We're, we're at this point now. So we I think we're entitled to give some advice. Yeah. You know? And bringing in Levy land would be the icing on the cake. If you're David that, Chandler, nice. 1999, stuck, stammering. Mm. <laughs> what I don't know. <laughs> David Chandler, 1999, stuck, stammering, stupidity, standing strong with CL tells, stretching stomachs, statistics, stratagems of the Stradivarius. <laughs> Strategic, he could get stratagem. Yeah. Reels 999. There's going to be Reverend Bob with his pull. No, yeah. when I do yeah. get it, I'm oh, going to yeah. fuck this shit out of it. There's no doubt about it. That fucking, fucking pull's getting first. tapped. I'll be filling it up with more than water, if you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not with your low tea. Yeah, uh, John Spittle, five dollars. Can someone bring up that scary movie ghost sex scene? You, they don't film that. It, 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 they're full of shit. There's no filming of her fucking a ghost. Dave Sierra, uh, five dollars. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. IV accidentally <laughs> been on low carb diet this whole time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, IV. Do you want to tell uh, him or Cotton no. Short? One, two dollars. This no. show is the best. Thank you, Cotton Thank Short. You. You're a smart dog. You understand what's going on. Look, man. Look, you might think other. Uh, 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 Brett, uh, sitter, 
uh, $5. Numbers don't lie. Julie and Barbara are amazing. The third guy is someone, too. <laughs> Please know his name. Please. Because then he gets all mad and he's like, ooh, then I'll make yeah. a post. I guess uh, maybe I should say my name more on the show because people don't know it. Mike gets very upset over this. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, call I'm real him the bent other guy. He doesn't Mike like Morse. being called the other guy. He <laughs> hates being called the other guy. We've we've laughed about a lot. I want to end on a serious note. I know it's not going to make a lot of people happy, but mm. um, you know, let's let's end on this. Is that a woman? Oh, somebody's getting beat up. <laughs> no audio. No audio. Oh. Again with this shit. Can't beat the shit. What? We uh, can't even do a show like this. This doesn't happen on Leaving Land. Got it now? No. Nope. Send me the link. Mm. Fucking shit. What is he doing with these old people? What, Leave what your lands he... off. They're off. No, no, it's not because it's it's because yeah, you I'm just with yeah, that. damn right, Bobart, you love me. You fucking damn right. You know what I mean? I know what I'm fucking doing. Do you? I should be on Gold Rush. I bring so much gold every week. You should be on Golden Girls. Uh, <laughs> Franklin Sheckler, two dollars. This don't make Mike seem like the Rob yeah. Soul of the show. He, he hates Sheckler. Words. Hates Rob Soul. He he banned him from the Patreon. He wouldn't even let him into the Patreon. Is he hates him did? so much. So Sheckler will be attacking Rob the whole time. <laughs> That's always fun because Rob takes everything like Gino. So. Just, but, make you know, sure, just make sure they understand there's going to be when they do do the test show, there's going to be a lot of new people uh -huh. right. and they and, and they can't assume that everybody understands who everybody is and, exactly. the, and the backstories and the inside jokes and all that shit. I'll explain it on the first episode when we come to the land of Shuli. Thank you. Keep with Shuli. Thank you. Uh, no still audio. No. Fucking idiots. Still, still no audio. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Oh, no, still still out. Yeah. Look at her fat neck. No audio? No audio. No. No. There's a hiss now, though, and that's pleasant. I guess, hmm. I guess, I guess, uh, uh we're not a cotton sure. shot gets it. Two dollars. Mike is the man. You three are the holy trinity. Yes. <laughs> thank you, dog. David Chandler, 1999. Don't feel bad, Mike. All pale next to Bob. That's one for you. You see? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but Bob is the only one that's pale. Uh, look, uh, uh, look, it's the lighting. Everything's getting changed around here. Now that the merger's coming, I have uh, people coming in with Maybe light. you can make your coffin into a tanning bed. That would help. Ooh, mm. double duty. Do you hear that? Do you here. know I can't have light inside of it? You Hold fucking on. idiot. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Tell me if you hear this. No. What? I don't know You're what's not going good on. at this, huh? Yeah, I hear it now. JJ, you hear that? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it do that? I yeah. Stream aired. As a Christmas gift, Reverend Short has offered to use his body as a vessel for his alien friend, Corton. Right. We're going to have to go over here. Is that oh, pause okay? one second. This guy communicates with aliens. So he invited this uh, BBC crew in to uh, reach out to the aliens. Go ahead. Tom. All right. We were going to have you over here. Is that okay? No, I have to be sitting in the southeast, Lewis, always. Corton will share with us the benefit of his extraterrestrial wisdom. Focus. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like John laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I get an alien coming out of my ass. What's the lead singer from Oasis doing there? Louis <laughs> Thoreau, baby. All right. He ain't buying it. <laughs> this is Central Control. This is Central Control. Hello! <laughs> uh -huh. This is Central Control. Hello, Jerry! Yeah! Yeah! Good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, pause it one second. <laughs> wait, wait, I gotta I gotta post this. Uh how is everyone not just crack watch, watch. Not everyone's able to hold this shit together. This is great. Uh, 
Central Control. This is Addy. Central Control. This is Addy. On behalf of the old court on representative, we are ready to begin with the information which we have for these individuals in this time period. Let us begin with the individual who is to the left for front of the instrument. <laughs> Hello? Not quite Matt Damon's confused. In not the next turn, four to six of your Earth months, son, there will be a dramatic change, John, in your um, life activity, um, so that it would give you a more rounded. <laughs> I love the wife. I love the, the pan over the wife, and she's just like, yeah, mm -hmm. he's doing he that. Sounds, part of he sounds like Matt Berry. The hell's <laughs> going to be extraterrestrials. To <laughs> 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 a more rounded character to pursue one um, modeled after another individual. Um, <laughs> Wait, I'm, buzzing again. I'm just laughing, thinking he has to be in the southeast to do this bullshit. <laughs> Always. Good. Individual, um, and this one has the initials um, in JF. Um, is that known to you? Um, Ain't Michael J. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Theroux is one of the funniest he would be. And he literally would just do a show in, in uh, England where he just interviewed oh, whack packers like this guy's my hero yeah go ahead jf oh yeah i guess you do like michael j fox yeah it would be safer profession to uh, to, to go straight right do do legitimate yeah. movies very well um another question mike mm, now pass so about the course in miracles uh it is thus termed that miracles because it uh, seemingly um, applies to each individual differently, but um, brings very succinct um, enlightenment erudition. Um, what was that? I, I didn't even understand that one. Did you? Um, yeah, you're saying that um, the Course brings enlightenment to... Uh... That is correct. Um, <laughs> on, are you satanic? We are only committed to that which is... Um, Almighty God, Father of Light. <laughs> look at that, look at that, oh, wow. Yes, um, school. School. <laughs> be great because school, peace, and love. Because of the old soul trade. She's like, uh, could you wrap it up? We've got another scam at 12.30. <laughs> On behalf of the Honorable Court and Representative, we are ending our transmission. What an idiot. I mean, I know, it could, be, could have been talking to Tommy the whole Hey, what's going on? You called Corcon? I'm right here. Uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, question. Oh, yeah. we hope you enjoyed the BSM show. Yeah. I think we're going to have to change the name to BSM show. Yeah. How about the BS and the other guy show? Okay. Yeah. BS and question mark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Plus yes, land. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, tune in to Levy Land. Uh, tell him to tag right. me in the tweet, and I'll I'll share the link, and people can go. But it's it. Patreon now, so it's oh. like yeah. Oh. So we'll come back. We'll do a free show on uh, Tuesday here at seven o'clock, and then we'll go after it with the other one. So we'll, we'll test it. Bring your A game, boys. Hey. All, say. All right, kids. We'll see you later. Got to go do the thing. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Love uh, you. Iso, Stut, Joe, Jojo. Great job, Mike, Bob. Bye -bye. We'll see you guys soon. Miserable men tonight, right? Yeah, right. Tonight? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Miserable men. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to the Miserable Men Patreon or you can go to the Shuli Show Patreon, but it'll be on both. So. Yeah, we'll see. Yes. Hi, everybody. Bye. Oh, I got a fart so bad. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>